Hey guys, this is Subhash Sheshmishra, your test coach. Today we will learn a Java program to count the total number of vowels and consonants in a string. So, here is a string. You can see, today we will learn simple Java. This is our string. So, how many vowels present in this? How many consonants present in this? So, we know in our English alphabet, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So here you can see I have highlighted in blue whatever the vowels. So total number of vowels here is 10. Total number of consonants here is 16. So how we will do it programmatically? So let's see that. Okay. So uh, we'll go to our Eclipse. And here I'll create a new program. New class. Okay. So we'll name it as count vowel consonant okay fine so first thing what we will do we will take two variables okay two integer variables we will name it as int v count okay and initially we will assign value 0 to it and one more we will name, uh, we'll name it as c count and we'll assign 0 to it. So, V count is for vowels count and C count is for consonant count. Fine. Then what we'll do? We'll declare the string. So, we'll take string S equal to we'll take the same st string. So, let me write it. Today, we will learn a simple java today we will learn simple java that's all fine okay then what we will do next now we will convert our entire string to lower case so how you will do that you can do something like this string so you have we have taken it as s right so or i can take it as str and here what i'll do is str is equal to str dot to lowercase here you can see okay so this is the inbuilt string function you can use it will convert to the whatever here we have in capital light it will con convert all to the lower case fine now we'll take a simple for loop okay for what you can write here int i equal to 0 and then i is less than what you will do i is less than str dot length okay then i plus plus okay so what will validate here first thing will validate if it is a vowel or not so how will know if it is valid vowel or not so if we'll consider like this right if t so we'll go to each alphabets present in this string and we'll see if it is a e i o u then we'll tell it is a vowel if not, then we'll tell it is as a consonant. So to do that, we'll write a if block. If what we'll write string str dot we'll write carrot. You know carrot i carrot i will write. So it will take the index. So i value equal to zero. So it will take the zeroth value. So first thing we'll consider as t. Okay, is equal to a okay again a is a character right so a or what will tell similarly a e i o u for all right so we'll write the same thing a e a e then we'll tell i then we'll tell O then we'll tell U. Okay. If 
कैरेट आई इज इक्वल टू ए और ई और आई और ओ और यू देन वट विल टेल देन विल टेल विल इंक्रीमेंट दी वॉवल काउंटर सो बी काउंट वी हेफ टेकन राइट वॉट विल टू बी काउंट प्लस प्लस फाइन ओके देन हाउ विल फाइंड दी सी काउंट सो वॉट विल डू नाउ विल डू एल सी एफ ओके देन वॉट विल टेल स्ट्रिंग डॉट कैरेट आई ओके इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू ए एंड सेम कैरेट आई here it is lesser than equal to z then what will tell c count plus plus okay so what we did here we have we are telling if str of caret i so in the zeroth position if it is greater than a and less than z so whatever present in the string zero position i is value equal to zero right whatever it is t if it is greater than a and less than z then we will tell we will increase c count okay so our else block is finished our uh, for loop will get over here okay then finally what we will do we will print the number of or count of powers so what will tell no count of powers we count right similarly count of consonants okay c count okay now let's execute it what do we got count of all is equal to 10 and count of consonant equal to 16 right so that's what we have seen here right 10 and 16 you can change it and you can give whatever value you want so it will give the result according to that so for example just to show right i'll just add one e so it should be 11 right let's run it yeah see count of files is 11 so i hope you understand it right uh, let me explain it again if not so here we have taken two variables type integer d count and c count and we have assigned the value 0 to 8 then we have taken a string and in that string we have taken that complete string whatever you want to give you can give it here i have just given today we will learn simple java then what we have done we have done string equal to str str equal to str to to lower case so what it will do it will convert to the lower case so whatever present in this right so if i will show you in a sysout statement here you will able to understand string in lower case okay i'll just print this you can print this okay let's see see everything converted in lower case right though something was there in the p is in capital here yeah all others are in small right But here, what happened? Everything got converted in lower case. Okay, this one. Fine. Now we have a for loop for int i equal to zero. I is less than string dot length. So string length it will str dot length function. So it will find the length of this string and i plus plus. 
now i will be equal to 0 then what we are telling we are writing an if block if str dot caret i so str dot caret caret 0 so in the 0 position what is there t if it is equal to a or e or i or o or u if it is equal to then we will we'll increase this so here it will not but when the loop will go up right in the o case in this case right it will match this condition so v count will increase earlier it was 0 then it will be 1 similarly in d case it will not in a case it will increase so you will get 2 similarly here it will increase so like that when it will go till end we will get the count as 11 but if it is not for in t case it is not right then it will come in this loop else if else if we are telling string dot caret i so whatever in the care of i so t if it is greater than equal to a and lesser than equal to z so it is matching the condition right so we are increasing c count plus plus we are increasing c count so it is the value becomes earlier the initial the value will be 0 then it will increase 1 2 3 4 so finally we got 16 so that's how you will able to program and you will able to find how many vowels how many consonants presents in your string thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel